Awesome. Mike's Daily Podcast. F -F episode 2009. Mike Matthews here. Cafe Anyway. Last place on earth located somewhere in Podcastro Valley, Mont. Mike's Daily Podcast. Did you see that Zoom has apparently no privacy? And all these people are using it. And they were like, eek. Zoom. Because Zoom got so big and their stock like jumped up from... So like 60 bucks up to 160 bucks or something like that. And now it's starting to fall again. Mike's Daily Podcast. And people are looking, what other options do we have out there that we can use other than Zoom? Mike's. Because everybody was just Daily defaulting to it. Podcast. Kind of like when we say Xerox. Yeah. I want to Xerox a copy, or maybe we don't say that anymore, but it that's that's a brand. It's not an actual the actual machine is called a copy machine. I'm going to make a copy. It's branding, folks. Hi, I'm Mike. And I got... Uh, it's early. I had to t fill in for someone yet again. And this issue is just getting out of hand with the particular person I have to keep filling in for. And it's going to stop. It's going to stop because... One day I'm waking up at this time, next time, next day I'm waking up at four in the morning. And it, it, you cannot get ready for four in the morning. It just hits you. You have to be prepared for it. You have to like always get up at four in the morning in order to adjust to it. But enough about that. There's just so much interesting news out there about the whole COVID-19 One of them was there was a famous songwriter who was with the band Fountains of Wayne who passed away. And I think he was only in his 50s. And it, just, it that, along with I was shocked to hear Joe Diffie died. He was a big country singer. Never got to interview him or meet him, but I went to one of his concerts. We used to play him quite a bit in early 90s country radio. He was all over the charts. And it, apparently, with the people that succumb to coronavirus... And here's today's podcast picture. Well, musicians... Musicians that live that lifestyle of out on the road and smoking, smoking a lot, smoking all kinds of things. And, you know, maybe they got diabetes. Maybe they got, you know, they just, they they can get a little bit more susceptible to it. Uh, Winton Marcellus, is it Ellis Marcellus? That was the father of Winton and Branford Marcellus. He passed away as well from COVID-19. So... The guy, the governor in Florida Is saying you can't leave the house now That is not going to be good for my mom Oh, Basil Basil's like, I'm always at home Lately I've been picking him up Because he can't walk So I pick him up now and take him outside And I put him in the grass And I hung out with him in the grass and the sunshine I can't tell if he liked it or not I think he was kind of looking at me like What are you doing? Similar to the look he gave me when I picked him up and put him on snow a couple weeks ago. Gosh, it just seems like so... Just not that long ago. I, I was looking at a receipt that I had. It was March 10th. I was at a Trader Joe's walking around, picking stuff off the shelves that I wanted. Everything was fine. People had already started hoarding by March 10th, but... People were a little bit more sane at Trader Joe's. Now you can't get into a Trader Joe's without waiting in a line. They make sure only a limited amount of people go in there. And it's just, I, to me, it's not worth it. But the other news about COVID-19 I found interesting is that people have had the symptoms, have been asymptomatic, have actually had COVID-19 and not had it blow up and they've gotten past it their body fought it off somehow and so there's a hospital in New York that is asking those people that have been tested for COVID-19 that had it but didn't you know or that had already gotten through it to please come to their uh, facility because they need your antibodies Apparently, so I didn't know that for sure. And Dr. Fauci wasn't exactly clear about it. But apparently, once you, once you had it, you're done. Now, I don't know if that's for sure or not. I don't want to be one of these social media people that 
spreads lies, but that is something to consider. And people are like, we, if you've gotten through it, we can use your antibodies and help the people that aren't as lucky. That's a story I heard. Also that there's just, well, people are at home and all these, (laughs) all these people, these TV personalities are broadcasting from home. I don't know who went in and actually built the sets. Some of them have really nice, beautiful, extravagant sets in their house. I guess these would be the people that are rich. Apparently, Joe Biden doesn't have the best sets in his house. But yeah, people have invested money. I don't know if the actual hosts have, the TV personalities have, or their companies that carry their shows. They sent someone over wearing a mask and built a set for them so they wouldn't have to leave. Um, But yeah, that's funny because they're... (laughs) That one guy Oh Chuck Todd Was saying That even though I have a set In my house There's just no room For it There was just no It it, It's It's tough to squeeze A set into my house With everything else That I have To deal with I mean Okay Yeah First world problems But Still it's funny Because I'm in radio And I already had Something Set up I can do my podcast from my house. I have done my podcast from my house many, many, many times recently from Podcaster Valley. And it's easy because it's just an audio thing. But with the camera, you got to have the lighting right. You got, uh, everything has to look good behind you. You have to have your makeup done correctly. There's just a lot of people that are out of work. What about all the makeup people in TV? They're gone right now because they ain't coming over to Chuck Todd's house. Chocolate Todd's house. As we go outside a cafe anyway, we're bringing Mike's Daily Podcast somewhere in Podcaster Valley, the last place on earth. I would like to... Ah, will I have time to put this in the show? I'm going to try and do this. Okay. We're actually going to wrap up the show by going back inside... And talking to lovely lady friend again. But the podcast picture today. Here. Oh. These crazy beautiful uh, flowers. I took this picture. Wow. 2017. It seems like yesterday. But it was three years ago. And this three years ago picture is of some nice little flowers. In the springtime. You can see it at mikesdillypodcast.com. Because it is still springtime, despite the fact that a lot of us don't go outside. Because we can't. Playing it safe. But we're out here at Cafe Anyway, located somewhere in Podcast Rally. Look, it's here. Hi, Mark. It's Benita the Rodeo Queen. How y'all doing? I brought my horse, Nilly. <laughs> wow, Nilly's got a mask on. No, that's the thing I do. I feed her with it. Oh. Right, it's a feeding thing. Put the food in there and... Okay, right, horses do that. Look who else is here. It's a disgruntled fiddle player, Mike, tell you what. What? I think everybody got to be careful because, you know, there's this disease and stuff. And Yeah, it's early. It is early. It's early and we're here and we're st- eight feet apart because we added an extra two feet. And now... When you go into a restaurant or a store, they put tape on the floor and say, this, this is six feet. Stay six feet away from each other, folks. That's what they're saying. And then Larry David did his thing, his PSA for idiots saying, look, you, why are you going outside? This is the perfect opportunity to just stay inside the house and watch TV. Isn't that what you've always wanted to do? Look who else is here. Oh, Mike, I make the delicious through your hands to run your Oh, boy. Thank you. Oh, delicious root beer. And this is coronavirus free? Yeah, okay. Excellent. And then apparently Joe Biden is also doing a podcast because he's campaigning. And I heard a little bit of it and it's awful because it's edited like crazy. 
because they clip out every little thing where he would sound bad. For example, when I'm talking now, it's kind of how it sounds like when it's edited because they don't let him breathe at all. It just goes on and on and it edit and nobody talks like that without taking a breath. <sighs> Anywho, let's go back inside and talk to my lovely lady friend. Uh, we're going to go back into the kitchen of Cafe Anyway. This is probably going to be one of the only Mike Staley podcasts where we don't end the show outside of Cafe Anyway. Anyway. Cafe Anyway. Anyway. Oh, and next show we'll have Manor Ruta Vega Valentino and Bison Bentley. Thank you for listening to FF episode 2009. So, uh, yeah, because we're going to go in there and we're going to talk to her in the kitchen. So here we go. In the kitchen we go. Okay, so what we are doing now is we are in the actual kitchen area of Cafe Anyway. <laughs> My lovely lady friend is... We've, we've taken the microphone and we're recording her as she's getting some cereal. What kind of cereal is that? <laughs> uh, they're Nature's Path Organic Heritage Flakes. Hmm. We're going to... We just gave him a plug and now we're going to give him a slug. I don't like the color. It's so boring. It's this boring brown. Yes, but I like the texture. They're very crunchy. Love, you wanted to be on one of the podcasts that are in the first of the 2000 series. And because you wanted to do what? Congratulate you on your 2000th plus episode. Thank you. 2000. Can you believe that? That's amazing. That's a sound effect you were making with your hands. Yes. So, yeah, what do you think about that? 2,000, over 2,000 episodes. F- 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 episodes. Episodes. That's pretty dang amazing, love. That's commitment. That's devotion. That's dedication on your part. Congratulations. Thank you. So, I heard something funny said by uh, Rob Black, who I sometimes produce his show, and he said, I think pretty much by now everyone has had, that we know, it seems like everyone, he goes, there was a lot of people that he's talked to that say to him, Rob, I think I might have had (laughs) COVID-19. That's like weird. Like, I don't, you know, but thankfully, I guess his friends are all okay, but yeah. And do you know anyone? Oh, you do know someone who passed away, right? Well, you... personally, no. But Joe, oh, well, Joe Diffie in country music, yeah. He was like the first country singer person over the weekend who died of COVID-19. I saw him in concert. I don't think I ever met him in person, but... Oh, okay. He was one of those guys that if you had a country station, he would stop by and go, Hey, I'm going to play a couple songs. One of his no- most notable songs was Prop Me Up Beside the Jukebox When I Die. Oh. And now oh. he's gone. I don't think that they're going to actually do that because it's a song all about like, fill my boots up with sand, put a stiff drink in my hand, prop me up beside the jukebox when I die. Any other news? Um, um, that you had, you were talking to me about how, well, as we know, we're probably all going to be sheltering in place till April 30th. And we saw a lot of people today Yes, as we went on a little hike Oops. in Podcastro Valley, lots of people out with their dogs, but mm-hmm. I mean, not like in a crowd people were very far apart from each other. So, and, you know, and going by each other fast on bikes or running or people need to get out and get air and exercise and nature that will help them in this. Yes. Well, hopefully it'll help us stay sane too. Yes. That's a mental thing. The most important thing. Of course, you know, there's physical health. Well, it all goes together. It's all hand in hand, hand in hand. Yes. That's the way it should be. Yes. Um, I don't have a song for that. (laughs) Hand in hand. That's the way it should be. Uh, well, yeah, because like if 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 I was feeling like a lot of anxiety right now, which I get sometimes I feel a little bit 
like I feel a little bit of tenseness, but but ever so small. I can see where it could, you know, if it could just get away from you. Would you what do you tell people? You just say, "Hey, focus on other things," or or realize this is going to pass, or try and keep your life uh, normal as far as schedule goes. I hear a lot of that. You know, like, like what I tell my clients. Yeah, or you know, anybody would like. Let's say I was freaking out. What would you say to me? I'd say, God, Mike, get a hold of yourself. <laughs> You'd start slapping my face, <laughs> throwing cold water on you. <laughs> Aww. Yeah. By the way, with all this zooming going on, I got to zoom with your family. That was a hoot. Oh yes. And it was like six or seven. Um, you met the pe- normal ones. Well, what's funny about Zoom, you've got like, <laughs> there were like eight different locations or something, and the camera's switching between everybody. It's like a TV show where somebody's like, take, take mm-hmm. camera five, take camera six, take camera seven, and it's just flipping around between all these cameras like a TV show. And it, it always goes to the person who's making the most noise or there's the most action. And it was hilarious. <laughs> and we're like, you're like a part of it. It's, that's why Zoom stock is flying into the stratosphere and yeah. beyond. It felt like a Thanksgiving dinner with my family. <laughs> Everybody uh, talking at the same time, talking uh, over each other, trying and and they're just I think that's their natural tone of voice. <laughs> it sounds like they're screaming. <laughs> but they're just talking. They're full volume. They're full vo- they're very passionate. Oh. Well, I'm glad you got to meet them. Someday I'll meet them in person. <laughs> and you met my cousin Snakes. <laughs> oh yeah, you've got a cousin with that owns snakes. A young lady. Two snakes. She's got two snakes. And wow. A bearded dragon. I don't even know <laughs> what that looks like. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yes, a bearded dragon. <laughs> Just the name itself conjures up images of. Pete's Dragon, a very kind, wonderful, kid-friendly TV movie show thing. How to Tame Your Dragon. Right? Oh, yeah. Pet Dragon? Uh-huh. Dragon? Yeah. Well, okay, love, it was a pleasure having you on the show here at Cafe Anyway, located somewhere in Podcastro Valley, the last place on earth. What? Uh, do you want me to answer the question about anxiety? <laughs> <laughs> Who? What? Huh? <laughs> When I get anxiety, I get amnesia simultaneously. I get amnesia anxiety. No, yes. So what would you say? Well, I mean, anxiety, we can't get rid of it. It's, it's a normal, natural emotion feeling. Mm -hmm. And it actually serves a purpose. It's supposed to help kind of marshal behavioral, emotional, um, to thought patterns that help us to adapt to whatever the situation is. So a certain amount of anxiety is actually, we need it. It's, it's necessary. It's when it starts to get, um, you get to that point of racing thoughts. Um, and you can't start, you can't stop thinking about something or, um, you know, we're just constantly moving around. <laughs> You're trying to, um, control everything around us like that's when it starts to become a little problematic but even then i mean it just it varies from individual to individual it's not necessarily a bad thing in and of itself like i think a lot of people have been coping in different ways everybody's having increased anxiety in this time um but to not to think that you can't have anxiety or to meditate it away or yoga, yoga it away. That's just not realistic. Mm-hmm. Like it's more you know, living with our anxiety and managing it in a way that, um, where it actually helps us to accomplish what we need to get done and, and adapt to stress. Yeah. We were talking earlier, you and I, about how the control we used to have over things. It's just, well, lately here in California, because when we were walking on this trail, you were commenting on, hey, this trail used to be, th- this was closed when we had the fires last year and PG&E closed everything down and the 
East Bay Regional Park District closed trails down because they didn't want fires to get started. And Mm -hmm. within a year of that time, now we've had parks close in East Bay Regional Park District. I guess the trails are open, but the water fountains and bathrooms are all closed and facilities. But Mm -hmm. yeah, so, so no, no control. Over any of these things just happen. I don't think we ever had control. (laughs) Like, I think this is showing us that whatever illusion of control we thought we had before is, was never there to begin with. I think people that are control freaks need to watch something like NASA or one of those, one of those channels that just show you what we look like from space, Mm -hmm. (laughs) that we are on this blue ball, just Mm -hmm. floating in black infinite vacuum and anything could happen at any moment. You know, the Mm -hmm. fact that you and I are talking right now, is a miracle. The fact that this is recording and being broadcast out to one person or many, many, the possibility of many, many, many people, mm-hmm. let's be hopeful. Mm-hmm. Uh, that, that is, you know, all of that is just amazing. And you just have to go, wow, at the end of it all. Wow. And not freak out. Just go. Cause if you freak out, you won't get it. You won't be living life anymore. You know? And just realize there's just a lot of wow stuff going on and just live with it. Yeah. (laughs) It's a lot of wow stuff. Remember to smell the wow. (laughs) Smell the wowses. Smell the wowses. Oh, all right. Well, wait, Basil has something over here. Basil, do you want to comment about anything? No. Okay. He's licking his chops. So you love that. Okay, everybody. That was lovely lady friend. Woohoo! Aw, thank you. It's great to be here on your show. Congratulations, my love. Thank you. On your 2,000 plus episode. Woo! Episode. Thank you, beautiful. Thank you, handsome. Woo! Wow. Wowie, wow, wow. <laughs> wow, shuts, wow. <laughs> wow, more cereal. Yes. My little mix. Wow. Mike's TV podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at Mike's TV podcast.com. Email Mike now at Mike's TV podcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye.